We get a new trailer for The Sims 4 today. The first gameplay trailer for the new Cottage Living expansion pack comes out in about an hour and a half. So we're gonna get a first look at some of the actual gameplay from the new pack. Like the first trailer is more of like an announcement trailer. It doesn't get into like the nitty gritty of what we're actually getting in the pack. These gameplay trailers usually have like a person talking and it sort of explains in more detail what to expect. Now, unfortunately, it is about 9.15 a.m. I've got a hair appointment at 10. I'm getting a real haircut for the first time in like a year and a half. I've been doing it myself. It's very very choppy. I almost said it was lumpy. It's not- it's not lumpy, it just doesn't look good. Especially from the back. So I'm getting it- it really cut for real. But the trailer comes out at 11. So I'll be right back, looking a little bit different, and um, then we can watch the trailer. I'm back. And I'm gonna be honest, I timed that really well. I literally just walked in the door and the premiere is starting now. So we did it. Um, almost had a meltdown in the car because it started storming and I was very stressed, but I made it back. I didn't cry. My hair is no longer uneven. And we have one minute until the trailer drops. Usually I feel nervous before trailers, but I don't feel nervous right now. I'm just excited because I just know I'm gonna love this pack. Like, I'm gonna love this pack. Oh, the title just changed. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going full screen. I'm going full screen. These premieres, I'm telling you, they caused me a lot of stress. I don't know why. Oh, here we go. No pressure. No pressure. Oh Hello viewer. I'm Harold. Yes, I'm a llama and no, I don't have an explanation for why you can hear the voice in my head Instead, <laughs> let's focus on the point of this video, which I'm telling you now over the next 180,000 milliseconds or three minutes I'm going to show you how to get your cottage living lifestyle tight. This is a lot so to take let's in. let's eliminate the excessive exposition of content we're going to get into and begin. Welcome to Henford on Bagley. Yes! The Hob. It the boasts hob? the rustic appeal of living in a cottage in the woods with the nearby convenience of a modern day village. Cozy shops, delightful villages, and a tolerable level of activity make for an inviting place to live out your wildest fantasy. Of course, I'm referring to oh, canning. Oh. If I had thumbs or any number of fingers, canning. it's all I'd ever do. Sixteen varietals of jam, custards, and veg, all jammed in a jar Fun. that can be kept for cooking later. Okay. Some, like the mouth-watering lettuce conserve, will entice you to eat it on the spot. If you can contain your craving, gather your cans or any of your favorite consumables <gasps> for consumption into an easily picnic. visible picnic that makes anywhere your dining den of decadence. Not courage I'm so enough. happy. Fine. I'll give you the wool off my back. To cross stitch with. Cross stitch. If you're not feeling confident enough to stitch from reference, there's over 34 designs. Stitch from to reference. Hookers on. But let's move on to the real. We're gonna have a lot here. to break the down after this. World of garden to tabes. One of the benefits of living in the countryside in oh. a seductively charming cottage such as this <laughs> is the tool. equally alluring ability to grow your own food. Duh, the and farms. And not the pre-packaged porcinis you buy at the store. These oversized crops will make even the most profesh garden a blush. The strawberry dress! Okay, that's a cherry dress, but you know what I'm talking about, the TikTok one? Discuss an activity everyone wants their hands what? dirty while doing. Cooking! Family cooking! The simple living lot challenge will make oh. that magical fridge that's always full obsolete. Now, oh. you'll have to face the facts of foraging for your ingredients yourself. When Gran Gran comes over for your mildly famous cool. Yorkshire pudding, Simply grab some eggs, borrow some milk from your cow named Tater, and mix together with flour from the local grocer. There were many other options that took too long to the show The idea of made. grocery shopping is so exciting to me. Ooh. Moving on to something I resemble. Animals. The animal shed. What it lacks in interesting naming, it more than makes up for in its ability to confine okay. animals to a space. Place it anywhere on your land and choose a cow. Or I can't believe option, that we have Lama, cows in this. To inhabit it. We eat here, I never sleep thought here, this day would and come. just die here. It's oh! the perfect place for a romantic gesture. You killed the lava? You made the horrible mistake of choosing cow and did not immediately trade it for animal treats. Now that you're waist deep in the proverbial cow shiz, you'll have to navigate the oddly satisfying waters of befriending I'm this not over the Grim Reaper of yours. Yet. Keep their mood level up if you want to have the tastiest milk game in the hob. Makes Try sense. Try different animal treats to create oh. flavors that oh. are so delish. You'll be tipping for joy. Don't oh. fly the coop just yet. This cock and bull story continues, y'all. The chicken Excuse coop me? offers what the ability to say? domesticate up to eight fowls. This what and what story? Coop. An apex animal. The chicken has no known predators. <laughs> Excuse Except me? most other animals, including foxes. The coop can be equipped with the fox be gone. A oh. clever upgrade that triggers an alarm whenever those handsy little thieves try to nick your eggs. One way to truly embrace the cottage Makes living sense. lifestyle is in one obviously direct way. I want to Oh, it's a chicken fair. fair! Whether you have chicken or egg, 
cow or milk, crop or pie. There is a competition for you. This is so fun. I wonder how many pies there are. The flyest llama in town. <laughs> okay. So, is cottage living the lifestyle for you? As a llama yeah. who knows little else about the world, I'd yeah, it say is. probably. I think this is one of my favorite gameplay trailers they've ever released. That was really good. <laughs> and I feel, maybe it's because I'm like most excited about this pack. Like I've never been so excited about a pack before. So that's why like this gameplay trailer, I'm like, whoa, llamas. <laughs> Cross stitching, you know, like this is like really speaking to me. So before today We didn't really know that much about the pack like we'd seen the like minute and a half two minute long announced trailer They had posted like one or two blogs that day There was like some Q&A on Twitter with the sim gurus, but we didn't really know much about what to expect I mean you kind of have an idea of it based on the trailer always like the initial trailer But you wait until these gameplay trailers to really get an idea of like what kind of gameplay is coming It's also four minutes long. Is that longer than normal? Like obviously all the announcements trailers are like a minute long. Okay, snowy escape gameplay trailer, 225. Eco lifestyle gameplay trailer, 2 minutes and 32 seconds. Yeah, no, the, <laughs> the gameplay trailers are not usually this long. This one was like action packed. They showed a lot of specifics. I'm gonna click the learn more link. Harold tours the countryside. Llama tell you about cottage living, okay? Hey there, it's me, Harold the Llama. <laughs> Sim legends of old say that Henford on Bagley was created from the perfect mingling of earth and water, but I'm pretty sure some Sims loved the nearby Cordelia Falls and that the river Bagley runs through it in all of its glory. Majestic. <laughs> in order to get to know more about this charming village, we will have to visit all of its neighborhoods. Our first stop is Finchwick, where the action happens. Finchwick prides itself as a historically bustling and tight-knit community. Look! Okay, so I'm looking at this area. This looks like the little town center area, right? Where the shops are. You can see the little stalls right there. I think the festivals happen around here. And I'm seeing at least three lots. Like we know the bar pub thing is there. These two look like houses that you can build on. Maybe that's one that you can build on. I'm not sure. These all look like fake houses. You know, like the background filler ones. Oh, it's cute here. Finfic is the home of the weekly fair in which locals put their skills to the test in creating the most sophisticated and delicious creations, such as pies, as well as show off their most prized animals, Harold obviously included, and oversized crops, the bigger the better. Okay, the sim said size does matter. <laughs> Judged by the mayor. Winning or just participation will get you a reward? Yay! Okay, I don't have to win to get a prize. That makes me feel better. This neighborhood hosts the historic square, which is also home to the busy marketplace. The village pub, Goldblum's grocery shop, Crumple Bottom's garden shop. If you're feeling curious or in need of a little drama for your llama, you can enter the gnome's arms for a chance to listen in on the village's gossip, history, and what is happening around it. Owned by the Scots, Simon and Sarah, this pub has been a dream come true, despite Simon running randomly into chickens, or me for that matter, along the way. This is where everyone knows everything about everyone. I love that. Oh, the small town gossip, the drama. They've got bangers and mash and beef wellington there. <laughs> Enjoy the convivial mood by having a Henford heart-to-heart -heart or offering a Finchwick favor to Sarah. Those things are capitalized, which I believe means they're actually gameplay. Henford heart-to-heart -heart must be an interaction, same with Finchwick favor. Sarah can give you advice if you seek it or maybe share some ghost stories? You may also help Sims with village errands and learn more about their backgrounds, interests, and what they do around town. Okay! And rewards. You get rewards. I'm into that. I'll take a prize. <laughs> Old New Henford is the next neighborhood, originally named Little Henford. However, after some consideration, it was proposed that New Henford would be better suited. More posh, if you will. Unfortunately, there was a mishap with the national map makers, and the town apparently ceased to exist for two whole weeks. Well, after that, of course, the town needed a new name, and Old New Henford was picked, and here we are. Okay, Old New Henford, pop off. I'm seeing at least three lots here, too. It looks like this is a lot. This one, oh, you can't see it behind my face. This one's a lot, and then this looks like an empty lot to me. Look at the bridges! Oh my god, these worlds are so pretty. Like, I don't want to just brush over the landscaping and stuff because these areas are so nice. This part of the village is known for their lush estates, rolling hills, and their small but beautiful community garden! Yes! It used to be one giant property owned by the Watson family who sold plots of it over the years. Okay and they still own a sizable estate perched at the top of the old mill hill. I love this kind of lore. I'm telling you, this excites me so much. Can find rabbits, wild birds, and foxes. Cecilia lives here in a refurbished barn. <laughs> it even talks about like another Sim, Michael Bell, 
who is not her chosen one. Do they have like exes? Like that kind of lore? Oh, I love it when the Sims have relationships set up. Okay, so Cecilia and Michael um, do not get along apparently. He is not her chosen one. And then the Bramblewood. Look at this. Okay, so that must be the waterfall back there. There's like ruins on this hill. I'm seeing at least two houses down here. They're kind of far away. These are big neighborhoods. Look at how massive this area is. So there's a lot here. It looks like a lot there. And I see something up on that hill. I can't tell if it's a house that you can build or if it's just like a decorative one on the hill, but <laughs> also this part, like spirals or something. I'm so curious about this. I want to see more so bad. It's the natural beauty of Henford on Bagley. They have a storybook like aura. Yeah, I got that vibe. <laughs> I agree. Picturesque place for wild animals. Michael, the creature keeper, lives here and roams the woods on most days caring for animals and plants. You can forage for choco berries and mushrooms, including nightcaps. Bramblewood can be full of surprises, especially if you've encountered the Isle of Vulp, named after Lord Vulp, founder of Finchwick. The Isle of Vulp is one of the most iconic hallmarks of Henford on Bagley, because it is the most romantic spot in town. Generations of Sims remember their first kiss in the Isle of Vulp. I, ah, I love lore. I love this. <laughs> Isle of Vault Park? Run through the path that leads you to Sophie the Snail, who is always happy to take a picture. Okay, so this thing, I assume that's where Sophie the Snail is. On EA's campus, like at EA in California, they have a thing like that, like a snail statue. <laughs> and they've recreated it twice now in The Sims 4. There's something kind of like that in Windenburg as well. I love that. I think that's like a cute little Easter egg. Oh, I'm so excited. There is so much to break down in this trailer too. Like, I don't mean to be dramatic, but they played so many videos and images. Like, even if we're just talking about build mode stuff, like look at all the new fences, this archway, the roof, the dormers, like, I, how am I supposed to, I can't take it. Do you know what? I'm really glad they did llamas too. Like, from my understanding, they didn't want to do like massive farm animal type like factory farming things. Like, they wanted to have like one cow and a handful of chickens on like a small, more family farm as opposed to having like 50 pigs, you know? So I'm kind of glad they did llamas. Like, it just, it feels right for the Sims. Like, it's kind of weird, but in a good way. And I love that you can get wool for it. Like, I just, I'm, I'm so into that idea. Agnes Crumblebottom, I love you. I'm just, I... <laughs> I'm so happy and it sounds like the the sims and like the households here really truly have a lot of like depth to them. Canning? It looks like your sims can do the canning on the stove and then they can make this stuff. And they can make pies. So there's a bunch of new recipes. Like if we have all the canning, I don't know how many new pies, but a, a number of new pies. All the new like British food recipes, like they added like the I don't know, beef wellington and stuff. The clothes and hairs look so cute. This picnic thing, I think I might be most excited about. I don't know, I just, I can't wait. <laughs> but as far as like new stuff goes, ton of new crops, ton of new foods, at least one new skill with the cross stitch skill. They mentioned cross stitch from reference. So like, you know, when you have your Sims painting, they can paint from reference and then they can like take a photo and then paint that photo. If you can cross stitch from reference, can you like, take a photo and then cross stitch that photo. And you can see a few of the cross stitch patterns behind us. Look at how cute they are. Oh, I can't wait. I love crafts. <laughs> Them adding knitting and cross stitching is so exciting to me. I'm not gonna lie. I just, I can't wait for this. Okay, the pond tool. Wait, watch that again. We haven't seen much about the pond tool yet. So they made a hole, put water in it. They put a bridge sort of dock thing. That's a good idea. That log looks new. Oh, I'm so into this idea. <laughs> All the new windows and stuff, obviously. I'm sorry, I just like look at this and stare at the items. I'm trying to like think about what I'm gonna do with them. I like this dormer. They've got a couple good dormers it looks like. Okay, so here's the giant crop patches. It looks like they've got some regular crops growing on them too, so I wonder if these patches will work sort of similarly to the planter boxes we already have. Like you can grow, it looks like, four crops on them, but you can also plant the giant crops. I feel like that makes sense. There's pumpkins, watermelon, lettuce, mushrooms. Okay. <gasps> She's fertilizing. Oh, look at the little greenhouse. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited about this. I bet with seasons, it's gonna be a really good combo for some like extreme difficulty. Cause they have that new lot trait, lot challenge thing where you have to like have the items in order to cook with them. If you combine that with the off the grid lot trait and also combine that with seasons and like seasonal growth affecting your crops, you could have such a realistic farm going on. Like I love that. Also, while we're here, remember that like viral TikTok strawberry dress? You know the one. Tell me this is not inspired by. They made a beautiful cherry dress. <laughs> And it's sparkly too. I love that. I love that idea. The Sims has been like on a roll with Cass recently. Oh, you can see more of the kitchen set here. Okay, well, it went away, but... <laughs> 
You could for a second. I love the new cabinets. This piece really excites me. There's just so much clutter. Like, look at this pot. The teapot. The chicken. This light thingy. Wait, he's fishing in a pond. So we know that your sims- look. This is one of the base game pond tools things, right? The toddler's playing in it. The kid and the dad are fishing in it. There's a turtle on the log. There's ducks in it. The amount of detail in this, I- <laughs> Oh, I cannot wait for this update. Oh, and the kid just got the egg out of the thingy. I wonder if kids can milk cows and, and get the eggs out of the coops. Look at all the new recipes. Show me the rest of the pies. I want to know more about pies. I love the idea of baking pies. <laughs> I know that the pies are like not the main focus of this, but that's what's intriguing me the most right now is the pies. This part, I am not okay with this. Not at all. I wholeheartedly disagree with this. How could my llama die? How could you do that? Them being able to woohoo in the barn makes sense to me. I'm into that idea. And didn't they say that there's two new woohoo spots? So where's the other one? If they can woohoo in the barn, like that seems obvious. But what about the other one? Like where else can they woohoo? I'm trying to think I'm like maybe the waterfall if there's a waterfall. I have no clue. I have no idea. Are there like hay bales they could woohoo in? There was, they had like a phone booth. Could they woohoo in the phone booth? There's no way they could woohoo in the phone booth. I don't know. I'm curious to see. Do you know what? There might not even be two. I could be misremembering. <laughs> There's at least one, maybe two. Look at the baby chickens! Hi! Oh, this is so cute. Oh, hi! Oh, you're less cute. Okay, that's fine. The chicken has a fez! It's Dr. Glue on it! <laughs> I didn't even notice! The chicken has a fez! <laughs> Do you think Oh my god. Okay, that's funny. And this fox is like a burglar. No, 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 no. So it sounds like there's chicken fairs, crop fairs, cow fairs. Is that it? Chicken, crop, and cow fairs? I love this game. I can't wait. I really can't wait. You know what? Look at the sunset too. Is this world not the most beautiful thing you have ever seen? I think they have done such a good job. I literally have nothing but good things to say about this. Like, I feel like I haven't even contributed anything to this. I'm just sitting here in shock. I'm just sitting here being like, oh my god, I can put a sweater on my fox? Like, they just keep throwing new exciting things at me and I, I can't keep up. This pack is genuinely, like, perfect for me. If I were to be able to pick a dream pack at the current day and time, I didn't think I would pick this one, but now that they've showed me this, I'm like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, maybe I do love this. And it seems like there's so much gameplay for the whole family. Like, even the kids and toddlers being able to play with the ponds and the chickens and stuff, like, even just those little things, that makes it so good. Like, we can cook together, we can go on picnics together, they can garden together. Like, it seems like a very together sort of pack. And I've been dreaming of having more family gameplay like that, so this is right up my alley. I will link the video I made on the first trailer down below if you want to watch that. Let me know in the comments, what are you most excited for about this? I can't even pick a thing that I'm most excited about. Maybe the world. That's a big thing that I'm excited about. I'm also curious to see the rest of the build objects, because I love this kind of little cottagey vibe. So I think I'm gonna really enjoy this pack. I'm so glad about how well the timing worked of me getting my hair cut. See, it's shorter now, but not much shorter. And it's just more even because I've been cutting my own hair myself for the last like year and a half. I have not gone to get a real haircut until today. So my hair has been a mess. You couldn't see the back, but I'm telling you, it was a mess, so we look a lot better now. And one more thing, the fact that Dan is finally moving away from England and the day, <laughs> the day we see each other again after all this time is the day the new pack comes out. The Sims was like, oh, Dan's moving? Don't worry. How about a little taste of home? <laughs> moving to Florida, here's a British countryside pack. I love that. Okay, anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye everyone. There's just so much to break down in this trailer. I keep thinking about it and being like, oh my god, that? No, wait, this? Wait, that too? I, I'm so excited.